I'm ready to be hurt one last time. For some reason, the Pokemon Company has decided to promote Pokemon Quest with a series of animated shorts. This has to turn into promotion for the update of Pokemon Quest, right? It's out in China. All they have to do is localize it. And then you just give it to the rest of the world and it's all right. And no, this isn't like a one-off thing. It's going to be a series. This is the first episode. It's gonna be a series of Pokemon Quest shorts. I mean, look at it. Also, when you kind of break it down and think about it, the style is so good. And there isn't any reason to not have multiple generations by now. And it's also getting promoted by multiple parts of the company. We have Poke Times. We have the official Japanese Pokemon Twitter account. This was posted to Pokemon Kids TV. It, it's Pokemon Quest content after just not doing anything with it for almost five years and we're going into summer. And the Pokemon Presents was very underwhelming. This is just Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC again. Now the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC was awesome, but this just looks like it's not going to be as great with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet even, and it's going to be delayed. We don't have anything to do this summer. We had the Isle of Armor for June, it's like, all right, we got summer games, and then we're like, hype into winter, now it's gonna be August and winter for 2023, and God, the, the Generation 9 Pokemon are the worst, and then this is just ugly and awful, and doesn't really look like it's going to be that interesting. I mean, we have like Pokemon Sleep to look forward to, which is kind of cool, but no, like, spinoff game for this year. Like, you know, where's our spring spinoff game? Where's winter? We don't even know what's going on with the Pokemon Home update. Even the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, gameplay stuff wasn't that interesting. It's like, yeah, we got more Terror Raid events and this thing, which was kind of in the game, but not really. Also, Pokemon Unite is dead, so the lineup for Pokemon this year looks really weak. Like, what are we doing until 2024? And how does that, like, play into the rest of the Nintendo Switch lifespan and stuff. So you know what we need? We need one of the greatest Pokemon games ever. Like, that is the reality of Pokemon Quest. It has turned into one of the most beloved Pokemon spinoff games ever. Like, the millions of people that have, like, super gotten into this game and continue to still, like, get into this game and generate revenue, it's appalling that we don't have any major updates outside of China. And they've had some pretty dank updates. It isn't just Generation 2 and now Hoenn Pokemon being added in. They also had promotion for the animated Pokemon the first movie, where like the clone Pokemon and a Mewtwo boss battle was going on. There's also like a PvP mode and stuff. And like, you're seeing this happen, and it's Chinese only, but, but why? Pokemon Quest is a really good game and everyone wants to see this. And like, these are significant updates that they're getting now for the, the Hoenn update. We have new ingredients being added in, which also has, like, just a mass Pokemon mechanic. Oh, the farming for that would be super epic. That's how you get the legendary Pokemon as well. New areas, new bosses, new other Pokemon, because they, they, like, go and show all the evolutions being added in as well, so on top of Generation 2. It's so, like, the... Why not support this game? Again, why are we not in, like, Generation 5 by now for Pokemon Quest? Just updating it every year as our summer game. Instead, like, yeah, Pokemon Unite. I thought I, I thought Pokemon Unite was going to be it. I thought it was going to be the next Pokemon Go. I thought it was going to, like, revive the mobile kind of hype out there and then spin it in with Pokemon. And, you know, that was kind of thing. Pokemon Masters kind of, like, still getting crazy updates, which is wild to me. But not a lot of people playing it. And then Pokemon Quest, the game everyone loves and wants the updates for nothing in five years. And I don't think there's, like, a weird five-year anniversary reason to update it. But there's, like, merchandise... It's pretty big in Japan, which is why we're seeing a cinematic, or not cin cinematic, but an animated series for it. And there's just all kinds going on with this. And that's after we also got the update for Johto, where like Johto Pokemon, new islands and other mechanics being added in throughout 2021. So yeah, we had like an update in 2021 for China. Actually, multiple updates in 2021, because that was kind of what effectively made it feel like Pokemon Quest 2, where there's characters and PvP and other, like, bosses and events going on, and then it went into the Mewtwo event, and then Generation 2, and now Generation 3. Now, it seems still kind of spread out, but it's more than just having nothing in the base game, like, outside of China has been stuck with. So why? 
why are they doing this? Now, it also is one of the things that over the last couple of years, they still have put out like plushes and merchandise and stuff in the style of this. So it's being supported in different kind of ways with like merchandise and occasional just like random tweets about it. But then the game doesn't get updated like this has to be it especially with like such a lack of lineup and such easy free game content for the pokemon company just put out there for us that will generate millions of dollars is it finally time after the years of teases after the years of wanting to see more out of pokemon quest there's even a data mine we're talking about in 2018 where there's placeholder slots for all the pokemon why not just add in the generations it Look at how simple the characters and gameplay are! It's like the easiest game to patch and update. I would not be surprised if this is the most dollar per effort profit game that the Pokemon company has ever made. And like, it's just kind of like all those baffling things that are going on. No battle replays, no punishing cheaters like Wolfie VGC, and all these like other weird things like the news is very inconsistent and doesn't update properly, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But the game that everyone loves, like, this is the most requested content as well. People are saying, like, oh, you gotta play Pokemon Quest again. How? Where? W with what? I've beaten that game. I have a living Dex. I have a living Dex that's almost all level 100 Pokemon. I speed ran the game. I made multiple, like, not that viable team compositions just to kind of see what you can beat the game with. The content is done. It is, it is a finite game. I was hoping for the updates for many years, just kind of like keep pushing and seeing what happens. I'm seeing more and more comments of people wanting to see Pokemon Quest content again, because it, again, this turns out that this is like the best spin-off Pokemon game ever. And with the disappointing things like Pokemon Legends Arceus being the worst Pokemon game ever, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl not having enough quality of life or competitive to keep people in. And then Scarlet and Violet, I think it's like good games. It has a strong competitive foundation, but we just, we're just weak. Pokemon's dead in the West and no one wants to work for their things or actually like grind out proper battles. So the culture just isn't there. And like people are still discovering this game and playing it for the first time and then accessing and finding my guides and then going, why did you stop? Or just saying like, yeah, this game's really fun. So this coming out of the blue, like, is this a teaser? We've seen the Pokemon company do it before where it's like, oh yeah, this merchandise, this anime thing is lining up to a new Pokemon reveal, like Dusk Lycanroc, but also like mythical Pokemon and other generations and stuff. Like it's happened before. Is this kind of like putting it back in and then setting up for a big like May reveal and now we actually have our strong summer Pokemon release? Or is this just a fun video that's a part of the Pokemon franchise somewhere and it's kind of neat to make content about because people still have played the game, relate to it and think it's cool? But like why do this in a vacuum? Especially when this animation probably takes more effort to make than actually just translating and porting over the game and updating it. I'm going to be hopeful one last time though, like we see these updates, the game is being supported, people want it, the Pokemon company has to see that and then realize like that's what the people want and you're kind of screwed if you don't do it because we don't have much else, especially like going in 2024 where you just keep updating Pokemon Quest in any downtime and everyone's loving Pokemon. So we're going to see how it goes, but maybe, maybe there's actually some hope for Summer and at least I can give you that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.